Welcome to Second Chance Garage. Okay, we're in the camper. This, uh, that's where I have to stay now. And what we got going on is this thing is missing a few snaps on it. It's got a snap up here, snap here. It's missing two here. And then it's missing two snaps here. So I went to Walmart, bought a snap kit. So we're going to see if we can figure out how the snap kit works. All right. So here we go. <laughs> All right. So it's got a instruction doodad. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, I might be bleaching it out. Hang on. Let's see if I can. Oh, great. Let's see if you can see it now. Yeah, I hope it makes more sense to you than it makes to me. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, we need our cup thing. Then, let me turn the light back on. All right. Okay. So in order to put the round snaps on, it looks to me like we need to put this thing here. It's got two sides. It's got that side. And it's got a domed side. So we're going to try to put our dome side on first. I know we won't. We'll try to snap first. So I think we got to flip it over. So we have this side showing with the notch. The way it looks like. Then we gotta put a rivet in with our snap. So we'll put that in there. And then we've got one of these these doodads. Well, that's nice. I dropped it. Okay, I think these can go on the back side of them and they probably will work like a rivet. That'll be my guess. Uh huh. I could balance it on a. Here. Got a pair of pliers. Let me grab those pair of pliers. You can see it. This. I think that's got to go on the back side. I think this goes on here. I think that sticks through the coat. And then you take your snap and slide over it. Okay. We'll say this slides over and drops over the top of that. Like this, it's just one drops over top of the other one. And then you got a little punch that you punch the center. Got a little punch that you punch that center in and it spreads it out, I think. I don't know, I've never done it before either. But we're fixing to try it right now. So, let me if I am correct. So, let's take this off the table. So, we'll take this. You can see right where they were before. So, I'll lay that down on the table. Put the little round thing up with this. 
top of it. Sure, I will. Give it a get a hold of it. All right. Now I'll slide this. Through said existing hole. Okay. This is on top. And now, double check that I got it on the snap side, which I do. Then I take little punch thing that came with the kit. Now, thing is with this, it's got kind of a weird end on it there. I think it goes in the middle. Like this. Yeah, I just bent it over. I bet that what was sticking through over. I believe the snap is securely on there. Let's try that again. Okay, so we'll take one of these and stick it up through the hole. Yeah, this is just a kit from Walmart. And then you slide it so it's sticking through your material. You can see it sticking up through. And then you take one of these. Slide over the top of it. Then it works like a rivet. Slides through there. And then on the inside of this, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a little, see that steel sticking through in the center? Then when you put your punch on there, it folds it over. This thing, see if I can show it to you, has a notch on the end of it that you put in the center. side see I've never done this so okay, now the other side same thing you can clearly see sure oh that's the bottom yeah you can clearly see where the holes are you gotta flip it over to the round round side I'll show you why because this is your button. You put it on there like this. And then you 
just put one of, well, if I can get it, hang on, let's see if I can reach it. Okay. All right. Okay, then you take one of these that one and put put it on top with your coat in the middle and then you got your little thing sticking out you use your punch and it'll balloon it and fold it over that's why I believe it works and this is round. This is your button in, so it's round, so it's got to fit in your little cup thing here. I think this cost me six dollars. Yeah, I think it cost me six bucks this little kit did at Walmart. And when you're doing it, you got to make sure that you put your round smooth part on the outside of the coat thick coat you gotta make sure that you work it through so your steel thing sticking out okay You can feel it when it bends. Yeah. I think it's going to work. Let's test this one and see if it's going to work. Now, the one you know, it's the one that I did because this snap is a factory snap. This is the one that I put on. They're two different sizes. Yeah, this snap that came from Walmart I put on is bigger than the factory ones. Mm -hmm. So, number three it is. So let's see what happens. Well, here we go. Test run. Oh, I'm trying to use, yeah, see, couldn't get it to snap together because I was trying to use one of the little ones to snap on one of the big ones. I was down one. Here we go. This is, there's the round one I put on there. Okay, there's that one I put on there. Whoops. Here we go again. Snaps right together, pops right apart. Works perfect. All right, we got one more. Before we go bragging, we got one more to do. Got to, 
there's the round one that we need. Big whopping exciting Saturday night. This is what I'm doing. But it'll be nice because it's the only coat that I have right now. All the rest of them are being cleaned. <sighs> Come on, get through there. Yeah, when you're doing this, you want to poke a hole where you want it. You want to, when you're doing it and you don't have existing holes, you want to measure and make sure that you got across from each other. Mm. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. This sucks. Come on. Get through the coat. Get through the coat. There it is. There it's getting through the coat. Just gotta kinda work it until it goes through. Stay in your cup. Ah, missed the cup. Do it again. Shoot. I really need to do I'll have like an awl or a little screwdriver or something to make sure you know so you can get it through that hole make it a little easier but alright there now let me get my cup I've ever tried to do this, but it seems to be easy enough to do. And I think the whole kit cost me like six bucks, something like that. And the jackets, real nice jackets, so it's worth you know putting the time and money into. And it's my only jacket. <laughs> and it's cold, so. Alright, let's give her a shot. Let's see if this one snaps. But this one. Here we go. Test run. Snapped right together. Snaps right apart. Yep. And that is how we just put those two new snaps on here and there's something else you need to watch out for they, these buttons on this side come in different colors so mine obviously had these fancy logos and they were kind of a off gray color well the closest I could get these silver ones so but you know hey I'm not complaining 
It's a nice jacket. It's insulated. It's got a nice thick lining in it. My dad gave it to me. So he hardly ever wore it because you couldn't snap it shut. And, but it fits me good. And now we have just put with the Walmart snap kit, which I've never done. I figured it out just right now when you were watching. And uh, just put those on. Yep. So anyway, she's good to go now. Let me let me try it out. <laughs> I got the heat cranked up in this camper super hot right now. Okay. Top two are factory. These are the two that I put on. Snaps right up. I'm quite fashionable. Yeah, see? Yeah, I mean, if I wanted to, how what I did, so I'm wearing it, I'll show you. It was just this is the factory one, but it was these that had pulled off. Uh, this was still on there. So all I did was took a pair of snips because they're not much to them. There's me at 10. And then you can work up underneath the material and just start squeezing it. Make sure you don't get the material, but you go underneath this uh, snap. And then you can actually cut that tang, drop it out. And you can also do that with these. But you want to do that from the back side and go up under and snip them off. So if I wanted to, I could cut those off. So that way these two buttons match these two buttons. But, I mean, hey, I ain't too worried about it. <laughs> So anyway, I was stuck in my camper. It's been a rough while, a little run here. So just decided I was taking tonight off. And uh, so I was just doing some stuff like that. So just doing easy, something easy. So I thought I would uh, shoot a video of how to do it. I hope you understand how it all works. Once again, let me shut this light off. Uh, there. And this is right, you want to save this because it's got your instructions right on the back of the package. You know. I don't know if the phone's focusing in on it or not. But anyway, and I'm currently uploading a dumpster video where I was loading the dumpster, but unfortunately, my tripod that I always use got blown over and busted a leg off of it. So anyway, um, so I had to buy a new tripod. So I bought a new tripod, <laughs> which tripod I got, it's too narrow for the phone, it don't work right. So right now, I have it and I'm using it, but, and you're on it, the phone's on it, but the issue is I have to rubber band it to the phone. <laughs> so anyway, but it works. So that's all that really matters. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Um, that video is kind of, Okay, it's kind of cool watching me load the dumpster, but the thing is, I had you propped up against a, a bottle. Seriously, it was a bottle. And I uh, had the phone propped up against this bottle so it wouldn't fall over on the diamond plate toolbox of the truck. But if I would have turned it a little bit, you could have seen the garbage pile I was going over to. But you couldn't. 
So basically when I run over there and I'm throwing stuff in the loader bucket, there's kind of a little dead spot there because until I come back, because you can't see the garbage pile. But it was broad, super bright out that day. Windy, that's what knocked it over. And then if I would have turned it a little bit, you could have seen the wood the pile, but I couldn't exactly see you know what I was shooting because it was so bright on my phone couldn't see the screen one of them things so but yeah it's kind of cool like I'm throwing all kinds of stuff in there I loaded that entire dumpster down I started at 2 o'clock I finished at 530 and I still don't have all the stuff out of the yard I'll shoot another video of what uh, what I got left and then I'll do a tour through the yard and a tour through the upstairs again and then they took those big machines out. Now they've got a uh, heater down there, big heater down there, electric heater and stuff. Uh, so I'll shoot a bunch of that stuff. But everybody's been really good. You know, Blue Sky's really been good. That's who I'm through. My insurance company, State Farm, has been great so far. So. Anyway, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So if you like this, how to do the snaps, then uh, like it and subscribe. That video with the dumpster, I'm still uploading, but I don't know, it's taking forever because it's a long video. But I didn't shoot all of it, but I shot, you know, 45 minutes to an hour of it and my phone was running out of room so I just went in and ended the video but anyway if you like the snap thing like I said they're cheap it's easy to do if I can do it anybody can do it <laughs> but yeah that's the kind of stuff I'm thinking with tonight I just you know kind of the no brainer stuff <laughs> so trying to chill out a little bit and try to de-stress a little and I'll hit it again tomorrow so and I'll give you a tour through the garage showing you the shelves I put in and to put a bunch of my stuff on this burnt and you know crap like that I got inventory you know so anyway if you like it subscribe give me a thumbs up a bonsai Second Chance Garage out. And this coat is hot in here. <laughs> See ya.